Hello and welcome to Meet the Beat. Today we will share with you how to make a vegetarian eggplant lasagna. We're going to make it all from scratch and uh, the lasagna doesn't contain any kind of pasta or anything. So let's get going. We will start by slicing up uh, some eggplants and we slice them into these long pieces that are each around a centimeter uh, thick that is around 0.4 inches. And for this entire lasagna we use uh, three eggplants. What we want to do now is we want to extract the water from the eggplants because they contain a lot of water. And uh, we do this by just pouring some uh, salt on top of the slices of eggplant. In that way the salt will uh, take out the water of these pieces. So we leave them standing like this for around 15 to 20 minutes. And afterwards you can actually just take a piece of paper and uh, dry off the water. After that you're going to want to pour some nice oil on top of the pieces of eggplant and just rub it in using your fingers. Then you're going to cover them with uh, pepper, black pepper and a little piece of garlic on each because that's going to give them a nice taste while, uh, while they uh, fry in the oven. And we uh, will put them in the oven for about 30 minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 200 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, we're gonna make the tomato sauce for the lasagna. So uh, get some oil going and add in chopped onions. Here we like to add a little scoop of butter just to give uh, the onions a nicer taste. And uh, let that turn nice and golden brown. And then you need to add in some crushed garlic. Fresh garlic is preferable. And you just let that simmer a little bit with the onions. After that you're going to want to add some freshly shredded carrots. The carrots are going to add volume to the sauce as there is no meat in it. Uh, this is kind of essential. So uh, don't leave out the carrots. Now we add some tomato paste to the sauce. It's going to give a nice tomato kick to this lasagna sauce. And we add in some bay leaves as well as a freshly chopped red chili. And of course a little pinch of apple cider vinegar. That is quite important as well. It's going to give a nice and uh, brown taste to the sauce. Now we add in the chopped tomatoes. Just regular canned ones and we use two cans for this uh, dish. Now we want to add in a little bit of garlic powder. That's going to give a nice taste to the sauce as well as some fresh basil. And while the sauce is simmering away, we're going to cut up some balls of mozzarella cheese. We use uh, three balls for this dish. Again, remember there's no meat in it whatsoever, so it's a really good idea to add in these components that are going to give volume and in this case the cheese, it's going to add a lot of fat to the dish and of course we're going to need some fat, otherwise we won't get full. So it's definitely a high, high, car high fat, low carb lasagna. And we're also going to add some freshly shredded Parmesan cheese, that's essential to this dish. After the aubergine or the eggplant is out of the oven, we remove the pieces of uh, garlic and then we're actually ready to assemble. So oil a baking dish and then put in some sauce first. And after that you start adding the pieces of fried eggplant. As you can see now they have gotten nice and soft and uh, cooked all the way through. We add cheese on top of the pieces of eggplant. Both are cheeses, both the mozzarella and the parmesan. And those are gonna be the layers in our lasagna, so it's quite simple. However, we just need to show you here that the basil, the fresh basil leaves, um, we're gonna add some of those as well in between the layers. It's gonna add a really nice taste. And you just continue, you pour over sauce now. 
What is kind of important to know now is that when you put the next layer of eggplant slices, do it the other way so they will be on the like opposite angle of the first layer. In that uh, way you're gonna get it sort of totally plastered and you're gonna make sure that the pieces cover like all of the lasagna. So you try and do that as, as good as you can. And as the finishing touch, you're gonna pour over loads and loads of Parmesan cheese because that's gonna be nice and golden in the oven. And uh, let it go into the oven for around half an hour at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or 390. And uh, then you'll actually be ready to eat. So slice a nice big piece and enjoy it. Again, this is a 100% vegetable dish. There are no pasta or any carbs in it. There is fat from the cheese and uh, the nice minerals and good stuff from the vegetables. So it's completely vegetarian. So uh, yeah, dig in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.